back to SourceFed Nerd, I'm Steve Zaragoza, and this is the top 10 greatest horror movies ever. I'm coming to take your money. I'm a tax person. Ooh, homeowner's insurance. I've been married for 17 years, and I have three kids, and I might be gay. All right, let's get to the list, shall we? Number 10, The Omen, 1976, the movie that instantly depopularized the name Damien. I'm sorry if your name's Damien. Directed by Richard Donner, the guy who directed Goonies in the Superman movies, or at least the first two. This is the quintessential birth control movie. That and also Rosemary's Baby, which also just so happens to be about the son of the devil. And what's scarier than that? I don't know, maybe having a normal baby? That's pretty scary. Number nine, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original from 1974. Directed by Toby Hooper, this classic slasher was inspired by the real life crimes of murderer Ed Gein. Dubbed one of the most violent films of all time, this film was banned in several countries and some movie theaters stopped showing the film outright due to complaints of the extreme violence. And who can forget the iconic chainsaw wielding maniac himself, Leatherface. <laughs> Does anybody have gasoline? I'm totally out. Does anybody have a gas oil mixture for this model? Number eight, 1960s Psycho, directed by one of the greatest filmmakers of our time, Alfred Hitchcock and also another film loosely based on the crimes of Ed Gein. What a popular boy this Ed Gein guy was, huh? If you haven't seen this movie, I won't spoil it, but also, why haven't you seen this movie if you haven't seen this movie? It is one of the most intense and terrifying films ever made. Number seven, Dawn of the Dead from 1978, directed by zombie genre king George A. Romero. This is the second film in his Living Dead series, and my personal favorite, if you ask me. It's a zombie apocalypse film that takes place inside an abandoned mall. Blood, guts, gore, intense horror, what's not to like. Also legendary effects dude in Sex Machine from, from Dust Till Dawn, Tom Savini was in the movie. He was one of the biker guys. He's basically like a featured extra, but he's a badass. And also I gotta say, Zack Snyder's 2004 remake, actually not bad, pretty good. Bing Rames? Yeah, Sarah Pauly? Number six, six, six. A Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984, directed by horror legend Wes Craven, containing one of the most instantly recognizable horror icons ever, Mr. Freddy Krueger. The Knife Glove maniac attacked teenagers in their dreams, which is terrifying enough as a concept and scary as shit in the first of nine movies. Yeah, nine. Also, Dream Warriors is probably one of the best campy group horror movies ever. The kid who's like a wizard, and then remember the kid who has like, his veins are used as puppet strings, and then Freddy makes him commit suicide? And then there's that punk girl that like, fucking does heroin, and Freddy's like, Yo, I gotta do some heroin! And his fingers are all heroin needles, and he like, fucking stabs her and shit. Remember that, Danny? Now you're playing with power! We had the power glove, remember? Number five, Poltergeist, 1982. Also directed by Toby Hooper, but arguably actually directed by Steven Spielberg. Look it up. It's moody, scary, intense, and made late night TV snow a thing. And that goddamn clown doll. Remember when the, and the tree. And, remember, and the clown. The clown doll. Nope. You built it on an Indian burial ground. Number four, Evil Dead 2 from 1987, directed by Sam Raimi. It's technically kind of, Sort of a remake of the first one, which is a straight horror film. I don't know, maybe it's not actually a remake. Maybe Ash is just that dumb, and he goes back to the to the cabin. But no, Evil Dead 2 is actually more of a slapstick horror comedy with plenty of gore and intense action. Sam Raimi's a huge fan of the Three Stooges, and he's also clinically insane. And Spider-Man 3 was awful. Topher Grace! Also, Ash is just the greatest horror hero ever of all time. Right up there with your Ripley's and your McCready's. Speaking of which, how about that for a segue? Number three, The Thing, 1982, directed by another horror legend, John Carpenter. What is there to say about The Thing other than it's probably one of the greatest movies ever? Not just the greatest horror movie ever, one of the greatest movies ever. It's intense, it's terrifying as hell, it's suspenseful. Go back and watch this movie again and just look at that creature design, that character design. You, you, you know, most horror movies, they anthropomorphize, they give these creatures two arms and, and two legs and a head. And in the thing, it's like you've got these like tendrils and fucking crazy spider leg type things and they take all these other earthly things and combine them into these frightening creations. The character design, the creature design, the monsters, some of the best creature design I've seen since Giger's Aliens stuff. 
Nowadays, what do we got? I mean, at least the, the Cloverfield monster wasn't that cool, but at least he was like a new design. We've never seen anything like that before. The kaijus are cool. Moving on. Number two, The Exorcist, 1973, directed by William Friedkin, dubbed the scariest movie of all time, and rightfully so. This movie scared the shit out of this young Catholic boy right here. The film won numerous awards, has some of the greatest sound design in any horror film I have ever seen or heard, and please watch the director's cut if you get a chance, preferably with the lights off. And, and don't eat pea soup while you watch it. There's that scene where she pukes up the pea soup. And then there's a scene where she uses the crucifix to And finally, the number one greatest horror movie of all time, according to me, The Shining, 1980, directed by quite possibly the greatest film director ever. Stanley Kubrick. The Shining is a perfect film. It's absolute horror and tense perfection. Slow at the start, gripping and terrifying as it goes on. Based off of a book written by Stephen King, which is actually pretty different from the movie, The Shining has garnered a massive cult following and earned every accolade and award it has and ever will receive. Can you tell that I kind of liked it? It's a great movie. Jack Nicholson's fucking terrifying. Also, Scatman Crothers, fucking awesome, dude. When they fucking cut to his cabin and he's sitting there watching whatever and there's this fucking painting of a naked black woman on the wall, amazing. I love Scatman. So that is it for my top 10 greatest horror movies. Let us know in the comments down below what movies you like. What's your list like? And do you disagree with some of the movies I chose? Let me know. I'll talk about it with you down there. Also, please hit like and subscribe if you haven't done that already, or you can click something in this annotation and you'll go to those respective channels and you can see stuff we've done on the Nerd Channel before this. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Happy Halloween and happy October scary times. Oh shit, the Wolfman! No, a Wolfman! <laughs>